I'm a native of St. Louis, Missouri. That's my hometown, all my family is there. And I'm a graduate of Alabama a and University. That's where I developed my love for science. My course of study here at UAB is the Physics PhD program. I'm in the second year. My concentration is lasers and optics. I came to UAB because I found a mentor here, Dr. Miroff, who was studying pretty much exactly what I wanted to study. He, was, he had a project where he was collaborating with people in the Cancer Center and the Department of Pathology to develop a laser treatment for cancer. So I came here partially because of him, and the other reason why I came was because they offered me a fellowship with the Bridge to Doctorate through the National Science Foundation. I have funding through that Bridge to Doctorate program from the National Science Foundation, and also the research itself is funded by a grant of the National Science Foundation. The technology behind cell phones and the cables and um, the internet, like all of that is physics and wanting to know how that works and how the CD player works and how the television works, uh, how electricity gets to us was something that was interesting to me, but I wanted to take it and use it for something that would be able to help people. And that's how I became interested in wanting to learn how to develop a laser treatment for cancer. One of the motivating factors for me wanting to work on a cancer treatment was that my aunt who raised me died of cancer three years ago and after she passed knowing that I could use what I knew already from school and research ex um, experiences that I could contribute to developing a cancer treatment. When I'm not studying or doing an experiment I like to spend my time writing and reciting poetry. I like to do spoken word poetry at open mic events. I would spend time in elementary schools and boys and girls club tutoring um, poetry sessions and getting them to express their feelings and, and writing them down in poetic form or poetic verse. I think that um, it's important when you have a talent to share it with people. I also like to scrapbook, ride my bike, read. A, I like to read a lot and uh, I love to cook. I have a family full of cooks and we would have cooking competitions to see whose dish was the best. I'm the first in my family to attend and graduate from a four-year university and I'm the first in my family to attend a graduate program. I left home when I was 18 to go away to college and I'm glad I did because it gave me the opportunity to see the rest of the world and to see that I'm not a product of my environment. I am, my past does not determine my future and I can create change in my life. A lot of people have jobs that they don't like, but I love what I do. Every morning I wake up, I'm thankful that I have something that I'm passionate about, that I can share my story to inspire people and it makes me feel good at the end of the day, regardless of how long the day was. A lot of times when I go to schools, I speak with the children, with the students about how to get into a, a field of science, why it's important to go into science, uh, especially physics, and I like encouraging especially the young girls. Often, young women are taught to only be pretty, to be seen and not heard, and to go into something more appropriate for a woman. Science has historically been dominated by males, and I think it's important to to break that tradition and there are a lot of opportunities for women in science. I've been writing and reciting poetry since I was a little girl. I've been keeping up with my poetry since I was nine years old. My creativity that I exercise with my poetry, I can use that in the lab and it helps me to problem solve with physics and my organized meticulous way of analyzing details in physics helps me to write poetry that's different than other poets around. But my favorite poem is I Flow. I flow because I am the mother of Mother Earth, the mother of Father Time, the mother of the universe. I flow because I gave life to all there is, all there was, and all there will be. I flow because I do. I just flow.